Hello again, an old project with hopefully a new fix. You see, a while ago I built this power supply and um, I used the voltmeter, ammeter. I'm not sure what model is this one. Anyway, the point is that the uh, current numbers, you know, the current measurements are absolutely out of calibration. I don't know why. If I'm trying, let's say, to measure with my multimeter right here, you can see that and we have a current of 4.31 amps and over there I have 12.1 amps. Let's go down and uh, change the measurements and I'm going slowly to let's say 400 milliamps and here M meter is showing me 0.88 so almost double and we are at 10 volts okay let's go to 5 volts okay my emitter is showing me 400 milliamps and this guy is showing me 0 0.88 almost double so the point is that in the meantime i ordered some more uh, emitters voltmeter emitter ensemble combi but this model is with a shunt on board, a 10 amp shunt on board, and the name of this one is M430C. What I want to do today is to replace this guy here with the new model because I really want to see if there's any difference. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. Pretty easy to take it out. All right. What we got here, maybe I should use, this is the plus and the minus, okay. Maybe I should use the onboard connectors. Let me take this out from the case. Well, I'm afraid this is a different case, so I will have some adjustments a little bit later. Okay, let's go with dismantling these guys. Yeah, the power supply red goes to green just like that. Okay, and yellow. There we are. Okay, power on. Okay, we got numbers 5 volts. Let's check the voltage first 5.04, and we got 5.05. .05. Yeah. Pretty close, very nice. Uh, let me test a little bit farther. 381, 3.78. That should be okay. Uh, let's go down to 1 volt, 1.07, 1.07. Amazing, nice. Let's go up to 13.6, it's 13.5. Pretty close. Okay, now let's have the current test. Okay, let's go down to, we got, uh, okay, let me see. We have also a watt meter there. What? Ready? 0 0.37. Yes, it was the latest measurement, but I got no indication on my hmm, interesting amps. 0 0.36, 0 0.421. Let's say 100, 150 milliamps, okay? Are we at 10 volts? Right, okay. And there we go. 0 0.17 amps. Perfect. Perfect. This one is working so great. No doubt. All right, let's go. Checking the current. Some more. Now we are on current limiting. 0 0.17. Let's go a little bit higher. 1 amp. 0 0.98. 0 0.97. You know, guys, this is great. It's exactly what I was looking for. That's absolutely amazing, good quality indication. Okay, that's a limiter here. 4.04 amps. Perfect. Let me insert my multimeter on amp mode. Let's see. 3.52 amps. Perfect. This is so perfect. Oh, I almost burn 
<laughs> yeah. Well, I forgot about this guy. You know, he's getting really, really hot. That's it, people. Let me put the things together. Well, I'm really happy. This is a really good one. So this is a M430C. Okay. I believe I'm gonna use some tubing like that. So I don't need to replace everything. It's plenty of place for connections. So good here. And the other guy. Of course I can get rid of this. That's the ground connection. We don't need that. Well, here is a problem. I don't have a tube so small like this, but I do something else. All right. Perfect. And I'll use some tape. Very nice. Now, let me see if I can fit. No, I know that this guy is not getting in, in here. now perfect that's it so there I have the voltages it's m430 and here I have the amp and let's say I need to insert uh, something like uh, let's say one volt here I have one volt with Yes, yes, I got you. With, uh, let's say, one amp. And yes, 0 0.95, exactly like on my multimeter. Perfect. 5 volts with one amp. Here we are. 102. One, oh, 0 0.96 and 0 0.96. Perfect. Well, people, this is done. So finally, I have a voltmeter emitter which shows me the real values. Now I can bet on this power supply. I can uh, work properly. Once again, this model it's M430. Well, uh, just find out. It's not only showing the amps, the current. It's also showing the watts, you know, the power uh, applied to the device. So this fan here, it's working on 24 volts and uh, it's 130 milliamps and it's like 3.12 watts. It's very cheap and proves it's working as it should. It's a perfect, uh, it's a perfect voltmeter, ammeter and so on. And by the way, as long as I'm here, let me see on full supply how much amps can I get from this guy so I got 4.3 amps this is great you can hear the fan trying to to start spinning because I have a temperature control and the voltage it's gradual and uh, okay that's it for today I hope it's useful um, please like always uh, try to like and subscribe to my channel, of course, uh, comment, and uh, what else? Have fun. Bye-bye.